All right, here's a quick tutorial on how we use tool tags for our CNC mill. So here's the tool tag tower. Um, we have 20 tools. This actually has 21 because you get one in the spindle. So uh, these are our new edge view uh, Cat 40 tool tags. And the idea is that you can see what's happening on the end versus the kind of traditional ones that don't have that. Um, and we just use uh, two and an eighth by one inch labels. And you can actually go up a little bit larger. There's details on the website. Um, but the idea is all of these tools are inside this machine. That's hard to tell, especially since this is a 2015 machine. Um, even from looking in the window, you can't really tell what's going on in there. So all of these are in here uh, for us. Um, I need to modify these a bit, but that's like the model number of the tool and then this is the gauge length that's set up and measured by our presetter in there. Um, and that's in the machine. So this is all like the grail, like this is what is in. So anybody that comes up the next time in the machine knows what's in there and they don't have to mess around. So say that tool that's in there right now, that's the T4 rougher. So if I want that tool and take it out of the machine, I would put this tool tag on it and then it would go up and get stored um, with, you know, any of our other tools. So each of these has our older style of tool tags. So it's just harder to read because my handwriting sucks. Um, but that would be a 4.00620 gauge length, which is the same as what's on the right of this tag here. Um, so each of these we trust to put back into the machine, enter the gauge length and uh, start running. So it saves you the time of like probing your tool. Um, say you don't have a tool setter set up all the time or you set up somewhere else, um, that's a good reason to use something like this. Um, the biggest reason I love it is even as I was the only operator of the machine for quite a while, I kept forgetting what was in here. And it's really nice to just be able to come up here and go, oh yeah, that's what I have in there. Um, you can turn these to the side and get a little bit more information, which is nice without having to pull them off. But if you need to, you just pull it off, snap it back on. Good demo, I missed. Snap it back on. Um, and another feature that we use that is nice is if the tool isn't um, set up right or entered into the machine, um, or you're just needing to kind of create a separate system real quick, as you can turn to the side and say, well, I know I need to take these two tools out. Like whatever your system is for the moment, um, we know that those aren't. If there's something up with those tools, you need to make sure and verify. So. Some nice little features. Um, we make these in a whole bunch of different uh, sizes and we're trying to grow. I think the next version we have is a one to 25 that's coming soon. So um, we have them up to like a hundred if you need it. So I uh, hope that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know.